Here are five of the most simple and effective ways to structure a game trailer, especially if you're a first time editor. But to be honest, I've seen trailers for big budget games which don't even have this much structure. Hi, my name is Derek Liu, and this is Video Game Trailer Academy, a series of videos to help you make better game trailers. Creating the basic structure of a game trailer can be daunting, especially if you've never done any video editing. So I'm going to share five basic outlines to help you get started. But before that, my first tip is to think of your trailer like a stand-up comedy act. A comic needs to open with one of their best jokes to earn goodwill with the audience, and they need to finish with their best material to leave them with a good feeling at the end. So, don't start with your most vanilla footage. Start with one or two really exciting ones, then reset and build back up to a big finish. First trailer structure you might try is what I'm going to call Tell, Show, Repeat. For this format, you use title cards and or narration which describe a thing and then show the thing. For example... I sometimes call these bullet point trailers because they start from a list of bullet points, call them out, and then show them. If you choose this format, I recommend calling out the things you do in the game, or the goals of the game. Don't call out raw features like how many levels or boss battles there are because those are pretty boring selling features and won't differentiate your game. Don't forget to sandwich this bullet point section between an exciting opening and closing. Next up is to make a music video montage. This is simply taking fun gameplay and cutting it to the beat of the music. This format is best used for games which are very simple to understand from watching, like games with running and jumping, shooting, or physical violence. If you can also sequence the gameplay so the simplest to understand shots are at the beginning and the most complex are at the end, this will make it much easier for the audience to watch and understand. Again, sandwich this between an exciting opening and ending. Next is to simply make your trailer in chronological order. Simply capture footage from your game, keep everything in the order they appear in the game, and cut them in an exciting way while maintaining that order, just without the boring bits. A lot of games are structured somewhat like level 1-1 in Super Mario Bros., in that they introduce ideas, make some twists on that idea, and then test the player's ability to understand them. This format for games is essentially what a lot of game trailers do, so it stands to reason keeping this sequence of events in that same order might work for a trailer. I'm often surprised to see game trailers which don't do this, considering how hard game designers work to create this sort of arc in their games. The excellent trailer for Papers, Please and Astroneer's release trailer follow this chronological format. Number four is just explain the game. <laughs> Some games are really difficult to understand at a glance. Maybe the game uses a lot of abstract symbols which have no analog in real life, or maybe there are multiple steps which the audience will just not understand until they've played the game. This spec trailer by Ashley Rule for the Zactronics game Space Chem is a good example. It uses title cards to explain the game in a linear fashion, and it uses good editing and music to make it entertaining. Some other examples are this amazing trailer for Heat Signature, narrated by Alex Ashby. You play a contractor, living in a remote nebula, taking on missions to break into spaceships. Breaking into spaceships is a ridiculous job that will certainly get you killed. But luckily, there are easy missions you can choose. Well, that one's labeled mistake, so you might not want to. Okay, fine, we're doing the one literally labeled mistake. And also this trailer made by Kurt Gartner for the VR version of Fantastic Contraption. Fantastic Contraption is a game about building and using your creativity. The challenge of the game is simple. You have to get the pink ball to the pink goal. And to do that, you have to build a fantastic contraption. 
Again, this approach mostly works for games where the visuals are difficult to read in a fast cut trailer. If you try to explain something which is easily understood, you're probably going to bore the audience or insult their intelligence explaining how to double jump or how the dialogue selection UI works. Last but not least is the infamous in a world. But no, seriously, for a story trailer, this is about as dead simple as you can get. Story trailers are probably the most difficult to execute of the formats in this list, but an in-a-world style voiceover can be a crutch to lean on. The voiceover simply needs to say in this order, one, this is the world, or premise. In the year 2004, time travel is a reality. Two, this is the person in that world. Doing partner? Next partner. Let me go, Max. Like, I'm not hurting anybody. Got to take you back. Three, this is the problem that person faces. One man. You ever hear the name Aaron McComb? Is about to take the ultimate power trip. He's gonna be president. Four, this is what they're going to do to confront it. One man is determined to stop it. I cannot go back to save her. This scumbag is not going back to steal money. And five, these are the obstacles they're going to face. Stay here, Walker. My future, you're dead. I think you planned too far ahead. This is what nearly all story trailers do. Some of them skip over the world and start with the characters, and a lot of teasers stop at what problem the character is faced with because the premise is often interesting enough to tease the audience. My last tip is to make sure the gameplay capture is clear. That means having no HUD or UI elements, or just composing shots to limit the number of things on screen at any given time. Retention of knowledge is far more important than quantity of content. And remember, start with an exciting and hooky intro, whether it's via the art, animation, music, voiceover, game mechanics, or something else. Given how hard it is to gain and hold someone's attention, the first few seconds can't waste any time hooking the audience. These trailer structures are all very simple, but that doesn't make them bad. I still cut trailers using a mix of these formats. The only advanced thing I do now is play with the pacing and mix the formats. A logical order is often best because it makes the information easy to consume. If you've ever watched a trailer with little to no rhyme or reason to the order of the clips, especially with dialogue, it can become an incoherent mess. So good luck and have fun. By the way, I send out game trailer making tips like this every Sunday via my mailing list, which you can subscribe to at GameTrailerTips.com. As always, thank you to my top Patreon supporters who help me make more videos like this. Links to all the trailers in this video are down below.